Hey everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll be showing you how to make rockets, whether it's with all the existing modifications or the classic rockets we all know. Alright, so for this we're going to need a bunch of gunpowder, which I highly recommend, and this video is going to be just an explanatory tutorial on how things work, okay? First off, we have the rockets that are completely standard, got it? These are the rockets that only need paper and some gunpowder, alright? And that's it. So, with this setup, the flight duration will be at level 3, okay? These are your normal rockets. On the other hand, we can increase the level of flight duration, right? We can bump it up to level 2, okay? And we can push it to level 3, got it? I think that's the max. Let me try one more. Yeah, that's the limit, alright? Get it up to level 3. When it comes to launching these rockets, I don't think there's... Any. Well, yes, they do go further. The level 3 ones go even further, got it? So we're starting with this basic concept where there are three levels of rockets, okay? So when we use them with wounds, they'll propel us to varying degrees. But we can also create a combination, you see? These balls, right? We can use these balls and then mix them with the rockets, understand? Obviously, we take a ball with a die like this. As I just demonstrated, you add gunpowder, you add a die... Sorry. Well, you can mix the colors, all right? You put in one part gunpowder and one part dye, and basically you end up with this ball here, see? Can we mix two balls? I don't think so, okay? We can't mix two balls, but what we can do is take the same ball and we'll add more dyes to it. They have a limit to how many dyes you can add, got it? So don't, don't, well, I think they have a limit to the number of dyes, all right? So don't get too carried away. Okay then, what is this useful for? This allows us to change the level of a rocket when we make one, okay? We can make it level 3 if we want to. The colors will be the ones we've selected, all right? There are the colors, see? Okay, good. Let's launch these level 3 rockets. What else can we do? We can add modifiers, got it? The modifiers are basically added just like that. We'll do it the same way we've been doing so far, okay? With one gunpowder and one color. We can add more dyes if we want, and different types of dyes, all right? We can do whatever we feel like, if that's what we want. So, once we have all this set up, we add a modifier. What are modifiers used for? Well, we're about to see, okay? Let's do it like this, we'll do it this way. Let's take this creeper one, for example, all right? We'll take one with a fire charge, which is another existing modifier. We'll take the gold nugget, which is another modifier that exists, and the feather one, okay? What's the last modifier we have left to create? So each modifier basically changes the explosion of the rocket. Right? Now, let's put everything back in order so you can see it. To show you, we're gonna take each of these fireworks and add them to an actual firework, okay? So this would be the feather modifier, got it? This one's gonna be the gold nugget modifier. This will be the fire charge modifier. And this one's going to be the creeper modifier, all right? Remember, you can level these up as much as you want. So the feather one's explosion is going to look like this. See? It's a normal explosion, typical of a firework rocket with the blast and everything. The gold nugget one's going to look like this, okay? It has this shape, kind of like a star, you see? I'm going to launch it again. It looks like some sort of star. On the other hand, we have the fire charge, which looks like this. It's the typical explosion sound with a giant circle, got it? It's really, really beautiful. Remember, you can use any colors you want. And finally, we have the creeper one, which is a creeper face. Okay, so when you throw it, if you look closely, it forms a creeper shape. So these are the fireworks. You can use all these fireworks to damage opponents, except for the ones that only use gunpowder and paper. You need to add a modifier to those, whether it's color or something else, all right? That's so you can use it and shoot it with a crossbow. There's not much else to say about the crossbow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you in future.